Yo, what's up Libra? This is your weekly moon reading all about what's gonna go down for you from this full moon phase in Leo, transitioning into the waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra, your sign. So you're definitely gonna be impacted more than the other signs this week. But we're gonna dive in and see what your tarot cards have to say. We're gonna do a general reading and then go into a love reading. So I'm gonna start with three tarot cards. The first one is gonna let us know what's going down for you during this full moon phase in Leo. So spirit guides of Libra, please speak through these cards. Let us know the energy that's coming to Libra during this full moon phase in Leo. So that's yesterday, today, I think a little bit of tomorrow. Ooh, okay. You know what? I just heard use these for all, okay. So this is your entire week right here. All right, so we're starting with King of Wands in reverse. So I don't know if you've been going through it, Libra, feeling a lack of motivation, a lack of inspiration, because upright King of Wands is fully in his power. He knows what he wants, he's ambitious, he goes after it, he's a master attractor. So in reverse, I know that you guys have been feeling a depletion of energy lately. So spirits like, get that fire back, Libra. You might be feeling a little bit under the weather, I don't know, just, just not with it, not on par like you usually are, but that's just for the next couple days. It's a weird full moon release. So then we have Prince of Swords in reverse. Couple next to Ten of Swords. Okay, so Prince of Swords upright is all about someone who's honing in on his communication skills. This is someone who's really kind of developing their talents and skill sets in, turn of, in terms of the mental realm, because Swords energy is all about the mental plane. So I feel like for you, Libra, especially because these are both, oh wow, I just, damn, I just realized, holy shit, this is a Libra reading. Oh my gosh, okay, I just realized this. So <laughs> this Swords energy is definitely Libra energy, and I'm hearing stop playing small, because you're only gonna wind up in heartache. And this is for the waning gibbous phase in Virgo. I think this is like over the next couple days. Um, this is definitely ending in Libra. This is crazy. But this is for the next couple of days after the full moon. I feel like spirits like stop playing small because you're going to end up feeling like you just played yourself. Feeling like, why did I just put all that energy into that for nothing? You're going to end up feeling just like depleted of your energy. Spirit's like, we are not going for that. Stop playing small. You're no longer a youthful spirit in this. You are a youthful spirit, but not in terms of mastery, right? Masters are sages. They're wise. They've been on this planet time and time again. So Spirit's like, you know what you want. Maybe this is in terms of a person too. Maybe you've been trying to reach out to someone. You've been afraid. This could also just be in terms of bringing your ideas to life. So whatever resonates, Libra, but Stop playing small. So then we have the ultimate two Libra cards, temperance and judgment, and they're both in reverse. So this would be for the waning gibbous in Libra, definitely. Wow, this is wild. So temperance is, both these cards really are about harmony, balance, alignment. There's, I mean, 10 and 10, 20, balance, alignment. This is definitely about getting your ass in gear, getting, lifting your vibration, lifting your spirits. I feel like there's just been a depletion of energy lately, Libra. This week, spirits, like, take it easy. Do take it easy, but at the same time, like, do what you gotta do to feel better. Feel better, Libra, feel better. Those are the two words I want you to take from this reading, if nothing else, feel better. Because judgment in reverse is like, you're not feeling good, someone's maybe someone's being over overly critical in your realm, and this is just temperance in reverse is not being in balance. Plant your seeds, flourish, thrive, blossom. All right, that ended up a little longer than I was expecting. But Spirit had messages, so. All right, now that we've centered that, okay. So Spirit, let us know what else is going on for Libra. I hear shuffle twice, cut twice, okay. Cut three times, all right. All right, Spirit. What else is going on for Libra during this full moon in Leo? Let us know. Libra. 
what do you need to release? Waning moon. I love that because <laughs> I was telling you, you guys have been feeling a depletion of energy in some way. You're, you're not in your power like you normally are. What do you need to release? Full moons are all about releases. So as we get into the waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra, what should Libra know? What is, what's coming to Libra during the waning gibbous phase? Thank you. You are good enough. This one wanted to come out too. And believe in the impossible. Full moon in Virgo and blue moon. You are good enough. Believe in the impossible. And that's definitely in line with getting in balance. Getting yourself right again. All right. <laughs> Don't mind me, Libra. All right. Here, just shuffle, just shuffle. All right, what's coming to Libra this week, this lunar week? I'm going to take the one on top. Well, you know what? Why wouldn't I take all of them? Right, Libra? Align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? I was just talking about balance, harmony, alignment, total Libra energy. The initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. Ooh, you guys are at a crossroads. Protection, call back your power, cut the cord, soul retrieval. And I'm noticing so much blue, purple energy in here. You're definitely going to be in the higher realms this week. You're definitely going to be receiving a lot of celestial guidance, celestial downloads. But the initiation, you're being called into something, Libra, this week. Let's see what that is. You're also very, very divinely protected. But if you've been thinking about taking the plunge towards something, maybe this is you holding back from this idea or this execution. Spirit's like, go for it. All right, what else is coming to Libra? What else is coming to Libra? You know what? I hear shuffle three times, cut once. Sometimes they just be having me shuffle randomly. I shuffle before I do readings, but sometimes Spirit's just like, yo. You need to shuffle again, so whatever. All right. <laughs> what is coming to Libra? Full moon phase. And really the whole, the whole week. Feeling the world. Ooh. Feeling the world. I said feel good is what you need to take. Also, I like this 13. It always reminds me of the letter B. It makes literally the shape of a B. And it reminds me of just receiving, being in flow, being in tune, being in touch with your divine feminine. Just chill out. What else is coming? Seeing beyond. I'm telling you, you're getting a lot of downloads, celestial guidance. I keep noticing this triangle. It was in another card. Temperance. I mean, come on. Freemason symbol. There's a lot going on for you, Libra. Seeing beyond. Definitely get in tune. Your guides have some answers for you. All right, what else is going on for Libra? What is going on for Libra during this full moon phase and waning gibbous phase? I love how that one kind of flipped. Align your life. Definitely a message from spirit. Libra. Libra energy during this lunar week. Lighthouse, don't doubt your worth. Wow. And then we have, <laughs> you are good enough. There's a very Libra energy literally in here. And uh, yeah, I feel like you're getting your, your mojo back this week, Libra. Or at least Spirit wants you to, like reminding you. All right, what else is going down for Libra this week? Let me take that one out. That's not even in this deck. Okay. What else is going down for Libra this week? This lunar week during this full moon phase and this waning gibbous phase. Libra energy. What's going down for Libra? Thank you. Okay. What else is going down for Libra? Wow. Did you see the way that just flew out? Okay. Okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, okay. We got balance, I can't even make this up. Alignment, balance, Libra, Libra energy is in the air. And then we have reach out and moving on, which is interesting, because yeah, like I said, you're moving on from something because the initiation is starting. 
And I, you know what? I think this reach out is to your guides. I think it's like reach out into the heavens because you're moving on from this matrix realm. You're, you're uplifting your soul. Your spirit is, you're leveling up this week, Libra. It's so beautiful to see. Okay. What else is going down for Libra spirit? What else is going down for Libra? Final general messages before we get into the love reading thoughts. Thoughts. What Thoughts are all about the higher realm. Air sign. Air sign is all over this. Libra energy is all over this reading. What else is... Wow. Oh my goodness. Avalon is all about honing in on your power. This is a very magical dragon. This is some, like, a sorcerer, sorceress, like... Hone in on the magic this week, Libra. All this blue and purple, not a coincidence. It's definitely your guides telling you to get in tight. They got some messages for you through meditation, I think. All right, let's figure out what's going down for our single Libras this week. Single Libra messages, spirit. Oh my goodness, this camera be going crazy. Okay, so. All right, single Libras, what's going down for these two lunar phases? Thank you, thank you. Ooh, we got three messages, okay. Soulmate, leap of faith. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. Leap of faith, it's safe to make the move you're considering. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags here. So I feel like you've been thinking about someone, you've been weighing out some options. Like I said, this could be an idea, something you've been trying to execute, but it also could be a person you wanna communicate with. Spirits, like you could be like really wondering, are they the right person for me? I mean, do we really mesh like that? You could be weighing out a lot of things, pros and cons, but spirits, like take the leap of faith. Because this person very well could be your soulmate, or at least a part of your soul tribe. Definitely someone to help you learn in this thing we call life, Libra. Take the leap of faith. The squeaky stool, so crazy. All right, what else is going on for Libra, single Libra, in terms of love this week? Single Libra, single Libra love. Another two messages, ooh, new love. <laughs> A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And then we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm noticing the word soul and love a lot in here. Soulmate, love, whoever that person is, take the leap of faith. All right, let's figure out for our Libras in relationships. What's going down? All right. Libras in relationships. What's going down? Okay, okay. Libras in relationships. This, these two lunar phases. Okay, this one is speaking. So we have release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you let go and time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. So I don't know what's going on with you and your person, Libra, but it's time to... Uh, it might be time to cut the cord for a little bit, or at least I feel like this will help bring balance, a little bit of time apart, a little bit of space. We need some space. All right, let's figure out. They said shuffle once, cut twice. For what's going on with our Libras in relationships? Cut twice. All right. Wow. I'm going to take this. These last two look like they're calling to me. So we have... Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life mm, and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So there's definitely some type of, yeah, reconciliation, someone circling back around, but I feel like this reconciliation is not with your current partner, but with someone from the past. And maybe it is spirit saying you need to release that person. Maybe you need to, like, if you've just kind of broken up with this person and you're with someone else, spirit's like, 
there needs to be some space between when you let them back in and right now. But I definitely feel like if you're, if you're just with someone, there's none of that going on. Spirit saying, be mindful of who is, someone might be thinking about you. Someone's thinking about reconciling with you. But right now, if you're going through it with your partner, just, just chill out in the relationship. Okay, Libra? All right, no sudden movements. All right, so Spirit, let us know what is going on. Here we go. With Libras, what's the number frequency they need to keep in mind during this lunar week for this full moon phase and this waning gibbous phase? Three and five is eight, the infinity sign. Okay, so that's all about unfolding. Life is always going and going. It never ends. It's always continuing. There's an unfolding happening, and I like it with moving on and reaching out. It reminds me of networking, expanding, especially with all of this about reaching out to your guides to the initiation. Something is definite, something really important in the higher realms is starting for you this week, Libra. Definitely pay attention to your dreams. There's a lot going on in here in the higher realms and your soulmate, single Libras, I think is coming around. So I think they're already in your reality. So yeah, if this resonated, like it, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next weekly lunar reading.